ready. Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. Latest news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Let's talk about this whole Kanye West, Kai Sinat situation. Give me just a second. So, Kanye's been out here, child. He beefing with everybody. He beefing with Kai Sinat. He's beefing with the Lord, Savior, Jesus Christ. Um, a lot of these old heads, I'm seeing that they're definitely feeling a way about these little young boys. Um, Kai, I'm not a fan of Aiden Ross. I just, I don't, there's something creepy about him. I'm just not a fan. Um, he gets away with a lot of shit. But I like Kai. And I love the fact that he went to Africa recently. He was in Nigeria. He was in Ghana. You know, just really looking out for the people, showing love, and, you know, bringing his huge audience to see the other side. You know what I'm saying? To see Africa and to see another side. I just thought that was awesome. So Kanye West has been on his vulture shit. You know, he got the music out and everything. So he's out here sending out free clothes to Kai. And everybody knows that Kai Sinat, he's really tiny. He's probably like, he looks like he's about five foot. Real small young man. And so Kanye done sent him some, you know, triple X sweatpants. And they didn't fit. And, you know, Kai was doing what Kai does on his stream. And Kanye basically flipped out. So we're going to watch this video here. Let me go ahead and share my uh, screen real quick here. Okay, so we're going to watch Kai. Wait, are these the shit the nigga be walking around in, nigga? Do he be walking around in these bitches? Oh my fucking gosh. Wait, you supposed to put them over the socks? No, nigga. Nigga, no, you don't have to. So goofy. Oh, boy. <laughs> All right, let me play this. Wait, part. are these the Yay! Okay, he's so funny. Imagine being like, I think he's like 22. Like, oh my gosh. that He has like such an awesome life to be that young. So I want to read to y'all what Kanye said. He jumped in this young man's DM. Now Kanye is definitely old enough to be his daddy. Because I'm old enough to be this little boy mama, okay? So he jumped up in his DM. He says this. He says, don't make no jokes about my clothes. When you ain't saying nothing about what Adidas is doing. 
When Vulture's song came out, you ain't play my verse. You control. Don't fuck with me. So Kai um, posted this and said, you know, why he say fuck me for? <laughs> so he says, um, I hear you, bro, but ain't no jokes was being said when I first opened up that package, I showed love instantly. And he did. He put on them long ass tube sock shoes, okay? And was dancing and jumping and all that stuff. Then he says, all I did was try on the sweats and they didn't fit. No jokes made. I immediately asked for a new pair. Kanye says, so you ain't do nothing wrong? So I ain't felt this way for no reason? Kai says, yes. Then he says, fuck you, nigga. You was told to diss my shit. You a pawn. Then he says, um, Kai, Kai replies back to Kanye. Kai is showing more maturity than Ye. He says, keep it family friendly, no cursing. The pants don't fit, Ye. You think someone told me, you think someone told me something? I'll prove you wrong. Ah, uh, fuck Adidas. Ah. Uh. So that is what Kai had to say about the situation. So yeah, Kanye is definitely in his feelings and I don't understand that. And I think what it is, is a lot of these new entertainers, they're seeing that these young dudes, these new gamers, they're the new way. They command an audience. You know, when they go live, there's literally like thousands, like 30, 40,000 people on their streams. And so they want a piece of that. The fact that Kanye was like, yeah, you didn't even play my verse and this and that. Like y'all don't control this young man's stream, okay? Because when he was on the come up and he was building his own brand and, and all that stuff, I don't recall Kanye, Joe Budden, any of these people sending this young boy a shout out, looking out for him. But now all of a sudden they want to demonize these dudes and that's because they know these young gamers and streamers hold a lot of weight. They hold a lot of power. And I'm glad that Kai put him on blast and didn't just eat that and allow him to think that he could just talk to him any type of way. Because it wasn't that serious. Like I said, it came out to me as disrespectful, delusional, and narcissistic. The fact that your company sent him something that didn't even fit. So how narcissistic is that, that you just sent him a PR package, one that he didn't ask for, and just sent a default size? Whereas if you guys really cared about the, pro the product and really cared about getting a real review, you would have slid in his DMs beforehand and said, hey, I would love to send you our latest, you know, design. What is your size? What's your address? That shows you how PR works. But the arrogance of them to think that they can just send him whatever and he should just be happy with it. They literally felt like he should have just, you know, uh, tied a piece of string around the sweatpants and been like, oh, these are the bomb. Y'all go out and go buy these. And he gave a real review. He put them on and they didn't fit. So how are you mad at him when y'all sent him that horrible PR? So I don't feel bad for Ye. So now on top of that, Ye is also having issues with Jesus. He's feeling away. So let me go ahead and pull, hold up here. He feels like God wasn't there for him when he was going through his foolishness with adidas all right hold on let me go ahead and um pull this up here so he's doing an interview with big boy so we're gonna watch this real quick at one point yay we hear, and this is all you, we hear, you know, Jesus is king, we hear this, but that's all you. Then there's sometimes you just want to say, man, not fuck it, but you just want to say, man, this is what I'm feeling right now. Are you in that space where you're comfortable enough to say, this is where I am right now. I'm still a man of God. I'm, Jesus still is king, but this is vultures right now. This is where I am. It is, but I, you know, I, I have my issues with Jesus. There's a lot of stuff I went through that I prayed and I didn't see Jesus show up. So I had to put my, uh, my experience in this world, my experience with my children, my experience with other people, my experience with my account, my experience with my brand, and my experience with the level of music that I was dealing with in my own hands. Mm -hmm. Like a, a lot of times I just feel like in our society, in America, you know, people, Christians, we're 
depend on Jesus so much that we won't put the word in ourselves. And the main thing that really that I, I don't rock with is like, it's just always like, I'm going to pray for you. And it's just like, you can actually physically do something yourself too, more than just pray. And we're so in this mentality that that's all that needs to happen, but we ain't, we ain't praying our way out of prison. Mm -hmm. We ain't praying our way out of the abortion clinics. We ain't praying our way to get our land back that was always ours after gentrification, after the Harlem uh, Renaissance and Black Wall Street was burned mm -hmm. to the ground. Them prayers ain't working. We, gonna, we have to apply actual physical building partnerships. Hands and, it, and it don't start unless we could really be real with each other and say, this is what I did, this is what I did. Like, I mean, look at this. I know I'm not gonna third rail your interview, but look at the power of what happened when me and Kyrie was on the same page. See, that's what's scary. But what they do is they put us each in a silo and say, your grandmother gonna lose her crib and this gonna, you know how I many threats we've been dealt, dealt with? And I didn't pray my way through them threats either. I had to get up and do it myself. I had so much to do, I ain't had time to pray. Mm -hmm. So that's where, that's, that's where my issue is. And look at where I'm at today. At one point, yay. Okay, so y'all just heard what Kanye had to say. Now, I, I get some of what he's saying, like as far as, you know, he's upset. He felt basically like, like God just, you know, left him. But this is why I always say, like, I, I just... I hate when like celebs like play this whole God Jesus role because it's interesting when everything was going good for him. You know, remember he was doing Sunday services. He had the little girl Northwest out there singing. They had the choir. I, I felt like at this point he was just using God. It was just like another selling point, you know, um, because I remember even saying during the whole Donda album release thing, how was one minute you know, everything is God, God, Jesus Christ. But then you're on stage with Marilyn Manson. Like you can't serve two masters. And I've always said that. And I get the point because we've all been there, right? Where we've gone through stuff and it's like, dang, you know, I'm a good person. I try and treat people how I want to be treated. You know, why do I keep going through things? And you feel like your prayers aren't being answered. I think we've all been there. But God is also not like a, a genie. God is not somebody who's just going to do something because... Well, I'm going to pray real quick and then everything's just going to happen for me. That's not how prayer works. But I do agree with the part where he says that you can't just pray. You do have to get up and do things yourself. You know, God will use other people. God will use you, you know what I'm saying, to help yourself. So I do like that he made that point. But he also needs to take responsibility for a lot of the stuff that he went through in the past two years. Okay. He put himself in that situation. Regardless if you agree with what he said or not about the Jews and all that stuff, those were his words. And he, he stood on it 10 toes down. So sometimes if you're willing to be that martyr, then it is just what it is. You can't get mad at Jesus. You can't get mad at God. You can't get mad at anybody. You knew what it was when you chose to go against these people. It's no different than when Muhammad Ali when he chose, when he said he wasn't going into the draft. He said, ain't no Viet Cong ever did nothing to me. I, if you're into boxing, old school boxing, y'all remember this. He refused. And he ended up, you know, getting in trouble behind that. They stripped him of his titles. He couldn't box. They tried to break that man simply because he was against the Vietnam War. Okay? I've never heard Ali come back and be like, and I'm talking about a lot of people turned their back on him. Because they felt like he was not being a good American citizen. You know, and I've never heard him come back and say, hey, I lost everything. I had to start over. Allah is not real. God is not real. He left me at my lowest. So I think it's an easy cop out. You know, if you're willing to be that martyr and, and you want to be a truth speaker, that's just what comes with being a truth speaker. If that's your truth and that's what, how you feel and you want to stand 10 toes in it, that's just what's going to come with it. And you got to know that your money is going to be affected. If you're not going to play the game, that's part of what happens. So if, if you're not if you're not strong enough to handle the heat that comes with telling the truth, then go be a sheep. It's that simple, but you can't blame God. 
because it wasn't God who got you into that situation. So that's the part I, I don't agree with. You know, when people are going through stuff, you know, we all go through things, good or bad. But when you're going against the whole industry, and especially the powers that be in that industry, you're going against real devils. So while you're saying that God didn't, you know, wasn't there or, you know, Jesus wasn't there and you were getting death threats, who do you think protected you from those death threats? You're here. You're dropping music. And you're, you're, you're making moves on the billboard. You're here to see another day. So God protected you from something because those death threats could have definitely came to fruition and they didn't. So again, I think maybe part of it is you're serving two masters. And like God says, he's a jealous God. You can't serve two masters. Either you're going to walk this Christian walk and be in it wholeheartedly, or you're going to sit there and told the lion, told the lion and dance with devils. You can't be sitting here screaming, I'm a Christian, I'm a Christian, but then you run around with Marilyn Manson because of the check to be had. It don't work that way, in my personal opinion. That's just how I see it, to each his own. Follow who you want to follow, do who, who you, you know, hang with who you want to hang with. But I don't have not one Satanist friend. Not judging Satanists, but we don't have anything in common. I don't go out my way to look for friends who are Satanists. You don't believe in God? I do. So, like, we have nothing in common. And that's okay. Just like I don't expect the Satanist to be best friends with a Christian. That, that's an oxymoron. So I, I think Kanye put himself in the situation that he's in now. You know what I'm saying? And he's trying to find other people to blame. And, you know, it's easy to blame, the, you know, the so-called Sky Daddy, right? Because then you're going to have a segment of your fans who are atheists or Satanists or whatever being like, see, God doesn't exist. So I think a lot of the stuff that Kanye, that has happened to him in the past few years, he needs to put the blame where it really goes. One, personal accountability. And two, the people in the industry who basically, you know, fucked up his money and did what they had to do to shut him up. So that's what happens sometimes, unfortunately. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us sentiment for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sir, your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.